sure I'm glad we're safe in here where it's warm, Sour Grapes. I know what you mean. Though this book of scary stories is more chilling than the chilliest of storms. Look, I'm totally getting goosebumps. Ooh, I couldn't read something like that on a night like this. Too spooky. Eh, doesn't bother me at all. I've always been hard to spook like that. Oh yeah, you're steady as a rock. <laughs> Never mind me. What was that? Okay, I'm gonna give you that one. I can't look. Oh, thank goodness. It's sweet grapes. Hi, Strawberry. Just came to check in on you guys when I saw the power go out. Oh, sweet grapes, we've got bigger problems. The bookstore is haunted. It's what now? I see your point! Ah, we're next, but I have so much to live for! That's just a promo poster for a new book, Sweet Grapes. Since when do ghosts know graphic design? I guess I got carried away. You guys, I just thought of something. Have you seen Orange anywhere? She was here this afternoon, but I haven't Aww. seen her in a while. Do you think the... Don't say it. Don't say it. Ghost got her? Oh, you said it. It's up to us to warn her. Huddle up, team. We're going in. It definitely came from that pile of books. Piles of books are not supposed to make noises, Strawberry. Wait, is that a... No, Strawberry, leave the books. We can buy all new ones and leave these for the ghost. <laughs> Guys, I think I found our ghost. <laughs> Orange, you scared us with your horrible snoring. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I've had the worst cold, and I'm afraid my sleep is all kinds of loud. I didn't mean to frighten anyone. Frightened? Nah, come on. It would take more than a couple snores to frighten me. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Doesn't this look cheerful? Hand me the red paint, would you, Raspberry? Raspberry? <laughs> Raspberry? What are you doing? The kind of design work that makes a baby bear can say, wow! <laughs> I thought we were gonna work on my hopscotch board. Well, you were having so much fun painting old-fashioned decorations. I thought I'd leave you alone. Old-fashioned? Uh, it's called retro, and it's very much in style today. Yes, well, I'm sure there are people who like that sort of thing, but, um, you know, I'm going for a more trendy, grab-your-attention look since fantastic fashion is all about being daring. You know, taking design chances and all. <laughs> yes, it's delightful. If you happen to like the chances designers were taking last year. <gasps> oh, perfect. What? <laughs> Lemon, what, what, what are you doing? Well, that daring, chancy, modern look of yours is ever so interesting, but it might be a bit, oh, bright for the baby bearkin's eyes, don't you think? No, I don't think. Well, I do. So the choice was simple. Give them sunglasses to protect them from those clashing colors. <laughs> Cute, but... Or... 
And this one's my personal choice. Build a more eyeball-friendly and truly stylish bounce pit. <sighs> there you go again, thinking your ideas are better than mine. Just like with the croquet poster. The croquet poster would have worked if you'd listened to my ideas, but... It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll just let the princess decide whose bounce pit is better looking. <sighs> oh, that's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? Not my speech, my resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fresh Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest Princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So, I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> I'm very excited to get started. Now that we've tackled batter basics and basics of very flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class. Creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! It's on! I've got our ingredients. Flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So, let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> and apple fragrance. Mmm. <sighs> Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise.
one. I just sent it to you on the Berry Web, Apple. You can call it Dance Puppy Dance. Oh, super perfect. I'm gonna post it with the video right now. Thanks, Cherry. Happy to help. Good luck on your song for the queen. Oh, yeah. The queen. <sighs> Ready as we'll ever be. Sweet sugar snap peas. Dancing? I love dancing. Oh, can I dance with you guys, huh? Um, well... I mean, I've danced a lot of places, but never here. A video of me dancing Berry Bitty City style would sure look great on my Berry Best Bits page. You see, Apple, we're not just dancing. This is a ballet class. And I know what you're thinking. Got the grooves, but does she know the moves? Well, I... Once danced with the Melon Men of Mango Mesa. It was a bright moonlit night on the moors of Mango Mesa. The bongo beans had just begun beating the boogie woogie beat when all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, I just. <gasps> hey, wait up! I'm sure you're a great dancer, Apple. It's just. Well, this is really going to be a challenge. See, this is a black ribbon ballet class. It's the highest level. We've all had to work our way up. Ah, <laughs> fiddle fruit. I can figure out anything. This'll be a piece of pie. Or easy as cake. Oh, you know what I mean. And we'll arabesque, glissade, tour jeté, Pot of beret, pirouette, and chene off. Got it? Errol who? Arabesque. Glissade. Tour jeté. Pot de beret. Pirouette. And chene. And next. Whoa. 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 You do have some talent. You're welcome to try my other ballet class. It starts right after this one. Oh, yeah. What color ribbon do they wear? Baby blue. <laughs> Stuck in a class with a bunch of babies. Don't be old baby blue ribbon. You two are the fashion experts of Berry Bitty City. You definitely have to enter. We know fashion, but technology is not our area of expertise. Now wait, so what if you're techno newbies? I just read a book that says when you're a beginner, anything's possible because you don't know what's impossible. It says right here, above all, you must keep your windows of creativity open. Whoa. <gasps> I think the windows are opening. Where? No, my windows of creativity. I have an idea. Oh, come on, Raspberry. Thanks. So the most important ingredient is a big bowl of Merry Mirthful Myrtle Bow. Oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? Finally, take 27. Ugh. How are you whiz kids gonna enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm gonna find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gary! Ah! Oh. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and... That's it! You got it! <laughs> nice! Excellent! Oh, really excellent! Oh, thanks, Plum! I'm glad somebody likes what I do. 
Aw, I know Lemon likes your stuff. Lemon likes her stuff better. She wants to do everything her way, so I quit. Isn't that play area a two-person job? Oh, believe me, Lemon will be a lot happier alone. Well, why do you think so? Because she won't have me to argue with. Lemon. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, girls. What's everybody doing? Oh, hey, Lemon. Uh, hi, Lemon. How are you? Getting the refreshments and entertainment ready for the grand opening of the daycare center. How's it going out there? Just great. Ooh, yummy. You girls need any help? Um, <laughs> aren't you and Raspberry working together? We were, but she thinks her ideas are better than mine, so I'm letting her do it by herself. Well, that's a big job for just one person. Doesn't it need two? Not if those two disagree on everything. Oh, so Lemon, I was just working on this new song. Tell me what you think. Um, when stormy grows the weather, it's good to work together. Uh, like birds of a feather, teamwork is better. <laughs> What do you think? Do you have anything more, uh, heavy? There. Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. Whoa. What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big, but isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Oh, I must have had too much plaster. Plaster? Well... I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey, you guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Tell me you! you. Dance with the big kids. Oh, goodness, no! Please, no walking on the berry ball field, if you don't mind, dear. Oh, sorry, Berry Can Bloom. I didn't mean uh, to. Now, off you go now. <laughs> Everyone will be showing up today, expecting my field to be pristine. I thought they were showing up to watch the berry ball game. Oh, that too, I suppose. Uh, but please, steer clear, my dear. Uh, shoes leave footprints. Unless you've got some kind of magic shoes. <laughs> magic shoes. Yeah, right. Wait a minute. Magic shoes! your groove from the Berry Web's very biggest database of dance moves. So get up, my little groove booties. Let the boogie fever flow through you. Strawberry 
said I could live with her does not mean we can walk all over her furniture. And now, for the final test. Tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly! Here! Look! You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make! And a special skirt that Raspberry will make! A skirt that's also a video screen! Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows! And what the hair cam films will be you! Demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen! Wow! That's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of! You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Uh, not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think? Strawberry isn't answering. It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? Apple! 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 Oh, I think we're lost. Ah! Ah! Text? No. Didn't you get my text? Flying waffles, the cafe! Oh, my cupcake. And that's not all. Look at this place. Oh, my delightful decorations. It's all ruined. And Barry can bloom ceremony is starting in less than an hour. Well, there's only one thing to do. Enough competition. Let's work together to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? 
Oh dear, never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what, what happened to you? Well, it's like this. You see, we were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket, and... Oh, the ceremony's starting. You better get up there. The royal rutabaga. I am deeply honored, Princess Mary Kit. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, why, I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but... It has been the best 24 hours of my life! <laughs> no! Come here, you! <laughs> Lemon. Here we go. Hairdo. Explosion! Fashion. Failure! Style. Stale! Um, I don't think this is working. Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. It's not the exercise. It's me. I'm just in a bad mood. Uh, maybe you better continue without me. Oh, Lemon, don't give up. Everyone gets moody from time to time. <gasps> moody! That's it! I'll do mood nails instead of a hair cam. I'll design nails that change color depending on your mood. Yay! Great idea, Lemon. But then, what do we show on your video screen skirt? I don't know. Could we... Pre-record something cool and screen that on the skirt? Then it wouldn't have to be live, you know? We wouldn't need a hair cam. Bells and berries, that's it! Do you have any friend fragrance? Um, I mean, scents that bring friendship, harmony, a little peace? I recommend lemon verbena and skittermint. Thanks! Just in case. <laughs> I'd like to share a few of my most pleasant memories of our beloved Princess Barakin. A princess who reigns with grace and wisdom. We all remember Sour. when... Sour! Something's burning! <gasps> my cakes! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sour. Can I help you make some new ones? Oh? So you can take credit for them, huh? What? Oh, no. Or maybe slip some vinegar into the mix so they'll think your cakes are better than mine. Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm talking deceit, sweet. Underhanded kitchen tricks for my own sister. <gasps> You almost hit me. It was an accident. An accident? I don't believe you. Huh, well, that was. But this isn't. Uh, uh, my apron. My apron that you stole. Oh, really? Then if you are wearing mine, then you won't mind if I put some of this parsley pop on my apron. You call this a parsley puff? You, you... Sous chef! Sous chef? Oh, take that! And quick, play something! <laughs> girls, yeah. girls! Breathe, breathe! Friends always know what to say. Well, you know you found a friend that's real. That's true. When you see the real person in you, when they see the real friendship in you When they see the real star shine in you Oh, I'll never find the right ending When they hear the real music in you That's it! Sorry, I heard you singing and... Well, the words just kind of came to me Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. 
Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course! I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute! And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... <laughs> Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um... <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes, uh, I was gonna ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh, just sort of driving through and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. <laughs> sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <laughs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. No! My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot? Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she goes! <laughs> Make very for Cherry Jam! Cherry Jam! Doggy biscuits. Hmm, a mystery indeed. Whoa, where are you going? Wait, slow down! Ouch! Where are you going? Whoa! Help! Wait, I think if I go under, and if you go over. Ouch! Hold on, Scouty! Stop pulling! Sorry, excuse me! What's going on? Oh, hi, Huck. 
take a look at your competition. <laughs> Enjoy the eye mask, and uh, I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> Uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? <laughs> All righty, uh, let's get everything cleaned up. Oops. <laughs> hey, I think I left my Skittle Jinx by the cable cue joint. What was that? talking about were you eating toast no no it attacked me oh you were attacked by a piece of toast well ed i'm i'm, I'm only telling you what happened i don't know how she can stand it who can stand what strawberry can stand working in a cafe that's you know haunted 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 there's no such thing earl Eesh, you and your fancy imagination. Well, Ed, I, I'm only telling you what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work to do. Come on. Hm. You made me leave my Skittle Jinx behind again. Well, Ed, I didn't mean to... Wait for me! You stay up there. <sighs> Strawberry, it's beautiful. What's it called? Oh, Lallyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Well, go ahead. Dig in. Let me know what you think. as the best dessert chef in the Berry Bitty world has just gone up another notch. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Apple. This beats any dessert that my sister and I have ever created in our lives times ten. Well, what do you think? Like it? Ugh. 
<laughs> no. It's just the agony of agreeing with my sister. <laughs> oh, <Sally. laughs> Thank you, everyone. This dessert shouldn't just be for us. Your reputation should be known around the Berry Bitty world. I second what Apple said, and I third it. Oh, thank you. But just knowing you guys like my desserts... Oh, that makes me happy. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that did come out all right, didn't it? <laughs> all right. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see you guys. <laughs> Function in the juice pipe junction over in Berry Bitty City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Oh, yeah, I do oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Lofty. The problem is not over there. It's at the juice pipe junction. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there, too. Oh, 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 I, I, I can't can't see see you. Ow. Oh, sorry. <sighs> so what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out... Uh, outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're always the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. We're the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. And then you were the one that tight roped across. Um, uh, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Uh, like the moon and stars? Things like, well, Galumphalots! <gasps> Luggy, Luggy, Luggy! Luggy, Luggy, Luggy! Luggy, Luggy, Luggy! Okay, guys, stop. She's serious. I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of Galumphalots? From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well, I am. <laughs> but Galumphalots aren't real. They're just a silly story. But, but, uh, how do you know Galumphalots are just a story? Because, because, uh, well, uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made up story because I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Longface.